In this video, we are going to show you how to replace the pre-2012 compression nut 5th stage carbon filter with the new quick connect filter. If you have not already done so, turn off the feed water line to the system by turning the needle valve clockwise till it stops. Turn off the tank ball valve by turning the blue handle 90 degrees. Lift up the RO faucet lever to release the buildup pressure inside the RO system. With a pair of scissors, cut the yellow tubing and clear tubing from the T-fitting. The cut should be made slightly above the plastic compression nut. Now cut the clear tubing from the output end of the fifth stage filter. The compression nuts and inserts on the existing filter are no longer needed. Remove the existing filter by unclipping it from the membrane housing. The new QC filter will come with a T-fitting pre-installed on the inlet side of the filter. On the opposite end, there is an end plug that is inserted into the fitting. The end plug must be removed before reconnecting the tubing. To remove the plug, push in and hold down on the collet ring. With the collet ring held down in this position, the end plug can now be removed. On the fifth stage filter, you will notice a flow arrow on the label. Reattach it to the membrane housing with the flow arrow pointing to the side that is the outlet end. Before reconnecting the tubings, please make sure the tubing ends are cut flat. This will ensure a proper connection without any leaks. Connect the yellow tank tubing and clear membrane tubing to the T-fitting on the fifth stage filter. To connect the tubing, push the tubing into the quick connect fitting, then gently pull back on the tubing to ensure a secure connection. Now, connect the clear faucet line to the output end of the filter. You have now completed the replacement on the fifth stage carbon filter. If no other filters need to be replaced, you can now turn on the feed water adapter and the tank ball valve. The new fifth stage filter needs to be flushed out before use.